gentlemen, today we graduate from high school! Hey, Cindy! Did they announce you won the scholarships yet? Wait, scholarships? Yes, Ocean University is giving away two scholarships, one in academics and one in athletics. And I'm gonna win, because I'm the school's top Athlete. Oh really? Well I think you're gonna have some competition from the captain of the swim team, Clyde! <laughs> Nicely done, my man! Trip, you were saying? No problem. I'll still win the academic scholarship. I built my very own solar power. Skateboard. Oh yeah? Well, Seymour, he built his own solar-powered car. Play. You'll get 
for chance. And now, <laughs> the finale. The sound of music. Wow. All the animals are alive. What do you say, folks? Do they pass? Woo! Bravo, that was well done. Next class, science. everyone. My name is Professor Whizbang. Now today's class is all about trajectory. There it is, a perfect arch. Now, Hooper, Clyde, can you replicate that trajectory? <laughs> Nicely done. Yes, superb. And a little physics, you see, what goes up must come down. There you have it. So let's move on to Neutron and Seymour. Neutron! Seymour! Where are you? Oh, there you are. Now, listen here. I have a very important question. What I want you to do is I want you to tell me the periodic table. Right from the start. To... Wait a minute. He has a question. Please ask him what it is. He? Really? <laughs> but he's only just got here, you see? He wants to go to the toilet. Very well. Bathroom is down the hallway. Neutron, please show him the way. Yes. <laughs> My most favorite subject of all time, astronomy. Now, what I see down here, you see. You see upon the large screen up there, you see. So, Clyde, come forward. Tell me what you see. You see? Yes. Yes. Now there you go, look at that. Tell me, have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Take a look at that. What's he looking at? Don't! Don't! Cry! Oh! I do apologize! <laughs> oh, we're off to school. Uh, boys will be boys after all. So there you go. Thank you very much. Oh, nice smile. There you are. Let's move on to chemistry, shall we? Never pour any chemicals down the drain. Why? Because all drains lead to the... Ocean! Correct, everybody gets a point. So here we go, begin the experiment. That's right. Ah, uh, green! There you go, green! That's the colour of my wife's skin when she gets angry. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Now listen, what we got there is a chemical transition, you see. Transitioning from a translucent chemical into a green chemical. Now I'm going to give you any extra point. Pipes, you know. Don't worry about a thing, Professor. We'll just fix it with this. What's that? Well, it's the air can we made in science class yesterday with the substitute. I'm just going to fill it with this compressed gas, and it'll turn it into a super duper powerful air cannon. Watch! Blinding! It's hair raising! It's hair raising. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> really encouraging him. All right. Um, now, Professor, like I was going to say, um, I'm going to use this little air cannon to clear the pipes from here all the way to the bathroom over there. Wait, wait, wait. Are you so it's safe to do that? Oh, Professor, come on. What's the worst that can happen? I don't yeah, know. Right, people? Right? What's the worst? Here we go.
Yeah. Today you all have two choices. Take it or leave it. Bupa, neutron. Present. Oh, I got a present for ya. Detention. Get out of here, neutron. Bupa, what are you laughing at? You two get. Get out of here. All right, Clyde Seymour, we're having lunch and we are having fish. Surprise, surprise. Tell you what, boys, we're gonna divide this fish out between the both of you. Don't touch a thing till it's over. Here we go, a fish for you, a fish for you. Two fish for you, and two fish. <laughs> Just a second, Neo, I thought I put a fish on that plate. Did I put a fish on that plate? No. But I'm watching you. Always watching. <laughs> Alright, another one for you. Another one for you. Another one for you. And another. Ooh, I saw you steal that fish. Did you steal that fish? Let's <laughs> draw that again. Did you steal that fish? Uh, who asked you? Alright, did you see him steal that fish? You did? Okay. That's it. Do you guys know what I do to sea lions who steal fish for me? I do.
will do an examination. Seymour, can you read the first line on this eye chart? R. Very good. All right, Seymour, it is time to take your temperature. <laughs> on second thought, never mind. All right. A little fishy around here. I think you might be faking it. So come with me, young man. You need to head to gym class. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to give you this little shot. Get going, Seymour. The school day is almost over. All right, you guys, get yourselves out of here on the pronto. Jim Bob here. All right, now listen here. What I need from you guys is I need to see some warm-ups. That's right. Some warm-ups. Here we go. All right. Come on, Hooper. What do you got? Hide. Show them how. I object. Overrule. <laughs> You're going to get used to that, kid. All right. Let's see what you got.
That way. Over here! Wait! Outer tracks! I'll go check it out. You wait right there. He tripped. Genius. I see. Okay. Look! Ah, I see we're gonna need a large air cannon. That's right, Principal Twimby. A very large, ginormous air cannon will use it to blast trip right out of the tower. Because according to Clyde's plan, the force of the air will follow the trajectory straight up to the tower and then blast over the emergency door. Uh, just one more little detail. Clyde, best friend, do you remember what we learned in dance class? Do you remember? The Disco Hustle hit! It hit! Okay, whoa! Yeah, yeah, this is your time. 